Five speaking rules you need to know. First point is, I'm truly saying I don't study grammar too much. This rule might sound strange to many English speaking students, but it's one of the most important rule. If you want to pass examinations, then study grammar. However, if you don't want to give any exam and you want to speak in English fluently, then there is no need to prepare grammar. So without studying grammar, you can prepare your English language. Studying grammar will only slow you down and confuse you. You will think about the rules when creating sentences ahead of instead of naturally saying a sentence like a native. So remember that only a small fraction of English speakers know more than 20% of all the grammar rules. So many English speaking and learning students know more grammar than native speakers. I can confidently say this with experience. I am not a native English speaker, but I mastered in English literature and have been teaching English for more than 10 years. However, many of my students know more details about English grammar than I do. I can easily look up the definition and apply it, but I don't know it off the top of my head. I often ask my native English friends some grammar questions and only a few of them know the correct answer. However, they are fluent in English and can read, speak, listen and communicate effectively in English language. So do you want to be able to uh, recite the definition of the causative verb or do you want to be able to speak English fluently? Of course, you want to learn English fluently. Next point would be learn and study phrases. Many students learn vocabulary and try to put them, uh, put many words together to create a proper sentence. It amazes me how many words some of my students know, but they cannot create a proper sentence. The reason is because they didn't study phrases. When children learn a language, they learn both words and phrases together. Likewise, you need to study and learn phrases too. If you prepare your phrases, of course, you'll be able to speak effective English. If you know thousand words, you might not be able to say one correct sentence. But if you know one phrase, you can make hundreds of correct sentences. If you do hundred phrases, you will be surprised at how many correct uh, sentences you will be able to say. Finally, when you know only a thousand phrases, you will be almost a fluent English speaker. So the English speaking basic section is a great example of making numerous sentences with a single phrase. So don't spend hours and hours learning many different words use them time to study phrases instead of you will be closer to english fluent uh, fluency so don't translate while speaking when you want to create an english sentence do not translate the words from your mother tongue the order of words is properly completely um, i can say different and you will be uh, both slow and incorrect by doing this instead uh, learn phrases and sentences so you don't have to think about the words you are saying. It should be automatic. Another problem with translating is that you will be trying to incorporate grammar rules that you have learned. Translating and thinking about the grammar to create English sentences is incorrect and should be avoided. Next point would be reading and listening is not enough. Practice speaking what you hear. Reading, listening and speaking are the most important aspects of any language. So the same is true for English. However, speaking is the only requirement to be fluent. It is normal for babies and children to learn speaking first. Become fluent, then start reading, then writing, so the new natural speaker, listener and reading, writing all become solved. First problem, it's uh, strange that schools across the world teach reading first, then writing and listening and finally speaking. Although it is different, the main reason is 
uh, because when they you learn English or language, you need to read material to understand and learn it. So even though the natural order is listening and speaking, reading, then writing, and the order for ESL student is reading, listening, uh, speaking, then writing. So second problem is the reason many people can read and listen is because that's all they practice but in order to speak english fluently you need to practice speaking don't stop at the listening portion and when you study don't just listen speak out loud the material you are listening and practice what you hear practice speaking out loud until your mouth and brain can do it without any effort by doing so you will be able to speak in english fluently submerge yourself being able to speak a language is not related to how smart you are anyone can learn how to speak any language this is a proven fact by anyone in the world everyone can speak at least one language whether you are intelligent or lacking some brain power you are able to speak one language therefore friends this was achieved by being around that language at all times in your country you hear and speak your language constantly you will notice that many people who are good english speakers are the one who studied in an english speaking schools so they can speak english not because they went to an english speaking school but because they had an environment where they can be around english speaking people constantly so there are also some people who study abroad and learn very little so this is because they went to an english speaking school but found friends from their own country and didn't practice english so you don't have to go anywhere to become a fluent english speaker you only need to surround yourself with english you can do this by making rules with your existing friends that you will only speak english you can also carry around an ipod or constantly listen to english sentences as you can see you can achieve results by changing what you surround surroundings are submerge yourself in english and you will learn several points next point would be study correct materials a common phrase is that is incorrect practice makes man perfect this is far from the truth practice only makes what you are practicing permanent if you practice the incorrect sentence you will have uh, perfected saying the sentence incorrectly therefore it is important that you study material uh, that is commonly used by most people another problem i see is that many students study the news however the language the they speak is more formal and the content they use is more political and not used in regular life it is important to understand what they are saying but this is more of an advanced lesson that should be studied after learning the fundamental basics of english studying english with a friend who is not a, a native english speaker is both good and bad so you should be aware of the pros and cons of speaking with a non native speaking friends practicing with a non native person will give you practice you can also motivate each other and point out basic mistakes but you might pick up bad habits from one another if you are not sure about what are correct and incorrect sentences so use them these practice the times as a time period to practice the correct material you studied so not to learn how to say a sentence in short study english materials that you can uh, that you can trust this is commonly used and that is correct in conclusion i, I would like to say uh, these are the rules that uh, will help you achieve your goal in speaking english fluently there is no matter how grammar how words vocabs and all all matters if you practice it this is all about today 
We'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you. Namaskar.